So this work has some relationships to the work in the show in, in terms of this, these hands. These hands are holding this heart. Um, and I was thinking about the heart and how it has these chambers. And I wanted my heart to have real chambers or rooms. So um, we have the living room and, and that sort of thing. So I was thinking about where do we invite people into our hearts? And you know, do we let them come into the living room? Do we let them dine with us? Do we allow them into the more private or intimate spaces of our hearts? And the heart, you know, is being held. It's 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 being protected in a certain way, but it's also being pierced by this nail. And that's that's kind of the place that we live. Okay, we have another map here. Um, I was thinking about how my life was really is really full. That sometimes I feel like every square inch is is being taken up. And I was also thinking about that in terms of our environment. We tend to, to build and build until we hit water or some other limitation. So it's kind of a play on both of those thoughts. The road work for the map are the arteries of the human body. And um, I think it also has a little bit of a history of my life in, in the map as well. So kind of taking you on some of the tour of the, the map itself. In the he head is a, an airport. And, um, and then in the heart where I used to live is Washington, D.C. Um, and it's got the Pentagon there and the Capitol Mall and the Potomac River. And then down in the, um, in the bladder area is Madison because Madison has a lot of lakes. <laughs> <laughs> And, um, and then I took that block and I printed it in white and I colored it with the same colors. And what was interesting to me was that suddenly the arteries became the most important part of the piece. And it really made me think about um, how we ignore that which is going on under the surface um, because of our busy lives. Um, and I was thinking about my trip to Yellowstone where I, I suddenly realized I've been walking on hot magma all my life and I didn't even know it. That that kind of, of uh, idea is there, that we're, we're just ignoring. And what are we ignoring to our detriment? So I'll now talk about um, the series that's in the Ganton Gallery of Being in Significance. The butterfly presented a challenge to me because I hate change. I reflected on the, that fact in the poem you'll see in the gallery called Requiem for a Butterfly. But no matter how much I hate change, life is full of change and I have no choice. In modifying the woodcut, um, I look at how change is an invitation to transformation, to become someone new in subtle and profound ways. So I thought I'd show you my block so you can get a sense of what I'm working from. So all the pieces, um, with this, the exception of the drawing I did to start it off, were made um, from this block. And you can see a few of my carving tools below. And um, here's a detail. So I'm, I'm carving into this plywood. Uh, it's a birch plywood. And I, what you have to do is you have to carve everything you want to have white and you leave everything that you want to have printed. Um, so you're basically having to, to carve around all your line work. And um, this is really close up because a lot of my, my cuts are made with a one millimeter uh, little carving tool. So when I'm done carving, I'm rolling ink on the surface and then I'm putting paper on top and I'm running it through a press and it prints off of that. And the colors you see, as I said, are hand applied, usually with watercolors. So this was the first print in the series. And um, it was basically a straight print of it, which I colored to look like the butterfly. And the hands that are holding this butterfly were meant to, to be green. I wanted it to be held um, in its natural environment. And then I took the block and I printed it in green. And, um, and then I, I, I painted it to look as if the butterfly is either um, emerging from its environment or going back into its environment. I was really reflecting a lot on how um, 
what I, you know what have I done to its environment that may have caused injury to this butterfly that it may have died prematurely um, and just thinking about how the life of this butterfly is linked to the environment and how my life is linked to the to the environment and so therefore my life is linked to this the life of this butterfly and in this one I printed the butterfly in white and something else happened um, and I I, I colored it in the same way as the first print, but now it's like you're almost seeing the bones of the butterfly with the color just remaining. And I was thinking a lot about, you know, what happens to us when we die? Do we just become compost for the next generation, or do we leave a color in the world? And this one, I thought I would read my poem. It's called Remnant. Remnant torn like an argument from careless lips, severing humanity from mere subsistence, identity divided. Remnant, vestigial memory of vagrant hope, lingering beneath composing layers of broken-hearted existence. Remnant, half of what was, residual impression of invisible wings upholding by implication until completion half of what will be. So kind of thinking about the, um, you know, like in archaeology you find this little piece of something and you try to uh, extrapolate what was the whole object. Um, and so we live in that place where we kind of see a glimpse of what it should all look like, but we're not seeing the whole p picture yet. Okay, this one is called Cover Up, and uh, I'm thinking about the damage I do to the environment, um, my part in what is broken in all of creation, um, as well as kind of our human desire to cover up our guilt, uh, shift blame, that sort of thing. So here my butterfly is really, is, is bleeding. And then it's, it's moving towards death. So I've kind of moving through seasons of the life of the butterfly. You'll see that seasonal from the green to the reds to the whites. It's moving towards death. Um, and here um, it is dead. It's dust to dust. Here I've taken my wood block and I've actually done a rubbing of it as if it's a gravestone. And in this piece, I, I printed a whole lot of different um, images of the butterfly, and then I cut them up, and I sewed them together like a patchwork quilt. And I was thinking about what it would look like for us, together as a community, to restore what we have broken. And um, it would kind of look like a patchwork quilt. It, to truly restore is God's expertise, but there is still a um, value in us working together in community to repair our collective and um, individual brokenness. And here's the, the next generation, or perhaps the next chapter in our lives as we continue to change over our, the course of our lives. Um, I, again, took the same print and I cut it up and I made him into a caterpillar. And um, I'm just kind of giving you an overview. There's a lot more pieces in this show, so please you go see the whole thing. Um, in this piece, I took uh, a print of the butterfly printed on translucent paper and I sewed it together in this kind of purse-like form. I wanted it to have a cocoon, but I wanted it to look almost like a purse because it's holding something of great value. Um, and then I put it in this kind of wooded environment. I was thinking about these um, camping lanterns that I grew up with as a child and um, how they shine really brilliantly at night. And, and I just love the brilliance of that. And yet, if you touch one of those mantles after it's burned, it will just crumble to dust. So there's a real fragility and yet a brilliance to this object. And here I've... Um, taken the woodcut and I've printed, I don't know, there's like 40 pieces of, of paper in this particular piece. And I have a, a solid 
um, paint a print behind and then I've printed this translucent layer which I've sewn together over the top to create this cocoon and I'll read the poem that goes with this it is only a matter of time it is only a matter of time clinging to a slender bough gossamer threads will unwind and float aloft thermals to test theories of flight it is only a matter of time this tearing down remodeling job drilling holes in my facade punctures walls to unfurl wings it is only a matter of time before I figure out no matter how much I hate change embracing the unraveling darns the holes in my soul so the butterfly goes through another process it's it becomes a butterfly and of course it's never always perfect we have our moments of ease and our moments of difficulty and life sometimes shreds us like ribbons um, and yet in that um, growing there's beauty and we wait for it um, for all in hope and uh, finally uh, this piece in flight um, I was thinking about the the beauty of seeing a lot of butterflies in flight in the air in the summer sky and the the idea of this uh, exuberance um, and pure joy that sometimes in life once in a while we catch these little glimpses right we forget who we are what time it is that we have things to do and, and responsibilities and we just catch these little glimpses of just pure joy and that's what I wanted in this piece is to capture those little moments that we, we enjoy my art and poetry are major ways I converse with and engage the world around me I sell my work directly to people and businesses I enjoy having conversations uh, with people around me about the work I want them to be inspired by the work and challenged by the work I want them to live with the work my desire is to help the viewer delve deeper into their personal motivations deepest needs and most profound brokenness and my heart is to create art that invites and empowers people to live more fully and to flourish.